good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I suspect you are. So we'll have to determine how to proceed next. But I think if they do need time, they should be given the time to do their work. And I, all of us, the council, when they send them in, must have realized that time will be necessary. A reasonable amount of time, I'm not saying forever, but they do need time to get the work done. And I so with the unanimous resolution. I, I hope, as I have said, that this unity uh, will be uh, maintained. Uh, we have, uh, in my own speech to the General Assembly on the 12th of September, I stress the need for multilateralism, the need for council action, the need for council legitimacy, and that position has not uh, changed. I really hope that uh, Iraq will comply and we will be able to get on and disarm Iraq peacefully. I have not given up on peace, and you shouldn't either. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Time is running out, sir. <laughs> what, where were you? I was in uh, Paris for oh. this uh, summit on Ivory Coast. Ah, yes. So yeah, I was yeah. uh, last yeah. night. Yeah. My table said it was good enough to watch. Yeah, what can you guys do? Yeah. I said some nice things about you guys coming in this morning. They, they asked me something. Puis-je considérer que, comme convenu lors de ces consultations préalables, le Conseil de sécurité... It is not enough to open doors. Inspection is not a game of catch as catch can. Rather, as I noted, it is a process of verification for the purpose of creating confidence. Il en est ainsi décidé. These reports do not contend that weapons of mass destruction remain in Iraq but nor do they exclude that possibility. They point to a lack of evidence and inconsistencies which raise question marks, which must be straightened out if weapons dossiers are to be closed and confidence is to arise. Ground the resolution 1441's provision for a right for UNMOVIC and the IA to hold private interviews, I quote, in the mode or location, unquote, of our choice in Baghdad or even abroad. To date, 11 individuals were asked for interviews in Baghdad by us. We now have an inspection apparatus that permits us to send multiple inspections teams every day all over Iraq by road or by air. Let me end by simply noting that that capability, which has been built up in a short time and which is now operating, is at the disposal of the Security Council. To Dr. Mohammed El Baradei. Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency. This proactive engagement on the part of Iraq would be, as we have told them, in its own best interest and is a window of opportunity that may not remain open for very much longer. Iraq should make every effort to be fully transparent with a demonstrated willingness to resolve issues rather than requiring pressure to do so. The international community will not be satisfied when questions remain open with regard to Iraq weapons of mass destruction. The world is asking for a high level of assurance that Iraq is completely free from all such weapons and is already impatient to receive it. What we have seen over the past 80 days is that in spite of the urgency introduced in Resolution 1441, Iraq is back to business as usual. The danger is that the Council may return to business as usual as well. Indeed, most members of the Security Council, if not all members of the Security Council, regard this as part of an ongoing process. The German presidency has made it clear that it would like to have a further report from the inspectors on the 14 February, and the UK would welcome that, uh, and uh, we wish to hear further how the inspectors are getting on. Men can do to do that. Obviously, the non-aligned movement does not believe in war. In fact, the United Nations was founded as an organization of peace. What we would like to do is 
allow first the inspectors to do their work. We are cooperating in all ways with ANMOVIC and IAEA, and hopefully I am sure that we will continue in that path that might uh, fin uh, finish with uh, the inspection as soon as possible. And the, the job has not been completed. We share the view of many that this process need to continue and more time is needed for the inspectors. And we trust that AMUVIC and IEA, they will continue their homework impartially, objectively, and professionally. That's for example. Well, I, I wouldn't even speculate about how long. I am convinced that they must continue, otherwise uh, we would have undermined the process uh, initiated by 1441 and so far very uh, successfully uh, continuing. Let me add two things, that the system we have set up uh, in Resolution 1441 uh, is producing results, and this is one very important point, that we need now a more active cooperation from Iraq, and we need more time. I think that... Uh we have just uh, sharpened the tool of inspections. Never before have the inspectors been so powerful Never before did they have such uh, sophisticated tools at their disposal. Never di before did they have such a great legitimacy by the Security Council. And we think that this sharpened tool of the inspections should be used to the full.